Check it out, folks. Bread pudding with a whiskey sauce. Let's get it. Okay, so look, let me go ahead and just start talking about the whiskey, right? A lot of you guys do not like to cook with this because you have no faith in the fact that, you know, when you cook with any type of alcohol, we gonna cook that off. Well, you know what? I'm gonna say this, what I do. You know what I mean? So listen, I'm gonna put like a couple of tablespoons of this in here. I'll just set it up on low heat, right? Just a couple of tablespoons. That's about it right there, huh? A little bit more, right? So what we wanna do is we wanna bring that to a simmer. You know what I mean? We're gonna let that simmer for a few minutes, but we're gonna let that cook and let the alcohol evaporate, folks. Listen to me, you guys gotta try it. You know what I mean? I got it, if you if you, if you stand away from it for you know whatever the type of the reason is, you know, something on the back end, then don't. But for those of you guys who wanna try something, listen, it's still kid friendly. I know it says whiskey. You can just tell them you got a nice little, you know, uh, sauce on it and it'll be fine, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and add my raisins in here too. Remember, we're under low heat. All right, so as you guys can see, we got like a little bit of a simmer right there going on, right? It's cooking off of that, you know, the alcohol. Now I'm gonna let this, you know, cook just for about, I'm gonna let this simmer probably for about five minutes then I'm gonna turn it off and then we gonna set this to the side, right? I like for it to like sit up and I like for the raisin, the unique taste of the raisin and what's left from the whiskey after we simmer, I like for that to just sit around and talk to each other. Okay, so my raisins are done. I've been letting them sit up for about 10 minutes. I had to take a phone call. I like for them to sit up for about 20 minutes, but all it does is just soak up the unique flavor that's left, you know, behind after the alcohol burns off of the, you know, the whiskey, right? So we're gonna continue to let that stay like that. Now we're gonna talk about this French bread. Day old French bread, bread works the best. This is pre-sliced because my butcher, excuse me, my local grocery store, they have it and they already got it. So when it becomes a day old, they, they slice it down like this, right? So I, I like it like this. So now what I wanna do is I just wanna cut these down. You know, like that, I'm using a bread knife. This is what we got. I like, you know what, if they this kind of, they this size, you can, you know, try to get them all. I like them all different sizes, to be honest with you. So now what you want to do is you want to get yourself a big bowl, right? And then you want to combine both of these milks together, right? Don't forget, the full ingredient list will be down on, you know, it's on my website, it's printable. That's smoking and grilling with AB.com, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our eggs in. After a little light little whisk, now I'm gonna come with my brown sugar. Oh yeah, this is what you wanna have right here. I kinda like just break it up. Doesn't make no difference once you put it in there. It's gonna go ahead and dissolve anyway. Okay, once we whisk up, you can see yolk is completely, you know, dissolved and mixed inside. Now, if you notice, I had it separated, right? Everything I needed for this particular part right here was off to this side, and then on this side is for the next step, right? So now we'll just add. All right, so once you're done with that, now I have a bowl that is big enough, right? Obviously, that's this one right here. So now, you wanna make sure you continue to whisk it. Let me get this out the way. Cause if I don't, what it does is like my cinnamon and all of that stuff right there, that just kinda like just floats to the top. So we'll just take it here and now I'm just gonna pour this over the top. Now one thing about the, you know, the spices that I put in here, right? You can see the color change, you know, with the egg and all of that. So you can see if you folded it enough and all your pieces here, let me give you an example. Look at this right here. That tells me you can see this against any of the other color. So we wanna make sure that everything has been coated, you know, with our mixture. Now here's the little trick right here. We are gonna go ahead and put some saran wrap on the top of this and I'm gonna stick this in the oven, right? Excuse me, I'm gonna stick it in the refrigerator. We probably gonna leave it in the refrigerator probably for about, I don't know, about 15, 20, 25 minutes. That's all we gonna need. And I think about after 10 minutes, we are gonna go ahead and start bringing our oven up to temp. Now after this, before I cover this, I wanna let you guys know, now we are gonna go ahead and add them raisins in, right? We are just gonna fold those in, right? Just the same way. But you can see how this is coming together. And I can tell you, once you hit them raisins, it, I know it's gonna be some people out there saying, I don't eat raisins. Hey, try it. Try this, you know what I mean? After they soak up what was left from the, you know, the whiskey alcohol part, I'm telling you, this right here be nice. So you want it to look like that a little bit. If you wanna add some more, you can. They don't have to be in there. It's up to you how much you are. I give you guys a base, you know what I mean? And then we go from there. Let me cover it, put it in the re uh, refrigerator, let it set, 
And I think about after 10 minutes, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna preheat my oven and I'm gonna go ahead and preheat it to about 325. So I got about 10 more minutes. I already left it in the refrigerator for it. It's gonna go for about 30 minutes, right? So 10 more minutes before I take it out. First thing I wanna do is hit bake. We wanna do 325. We hit start and we preheat. Okay, so look, I want you to pay attention. I got everything grouped up like how I'm gonna need it. I kept this out because we're gonna need a little bit more of this with the cornstarch, right? But we're gonna start here with my two different milks. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my sugar, right? I'm gonna give this a little bit of a stir. All right, remember we under that medium frame. So I'm, while that's building up, now I'm getting ready to add, look, I'm gonna add my cornstarch. And we want two tablespoons of the whiskey. And now what we do is we just whisk this together, right? Everybody know when you use that cornstarch, what that do? That becomes our thickener. But right now we adding some flavor to the thickener, folks. Once I break it in half, I got it, I don't, we don't need none of that, right? So you see how the yolk is just, the white part is there and the yolk stays in, to the inside like a cup. So what I do is I just keep going back and forth, back, uh-oh, and forth. That's enough right there. If you guys look on the side right there, you see how that's coming off? That'll separate itself and that's good. Now, once this became, got up to a boil, right? I reduce it down for a simmer. I wait probably about two or three minutes, right? Now that we have that, now we're getting ready to do our cornstarch mixture, right? Still under that medium low heat, but you can look at it and see it's starting to thicken up on its own, right? Then when you add that, mm, the aromatic, mm. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add, let me get myself a spatula because we want to get it all in here. I'm gonna go ahead and add, you know, my egg yolks. So we don't want nothing to curdle. So I'm gonna go ahead and break this one now. Just leave it like that. That's what it should look like once you have it in here. I've already turned off my fire. Look at that right there. Oh yeah. Now I'm gonna probably take about, about a half a cup. I'm not gonna measure it, you know what I mean? Uh, we know what we put in here, so let me do it this way. I'm gonna just add this in here. And the thing is, I'm not getting ready to stop it whisking, right? Cause we don't want it to curdle. Right, so I'm gonna just keep going just like you see. This is gonna be the key, folks. Okay, so I've been working with one hand, put my pot back on the, you know, on my stove there, right? I keep just going like it is. Now listen, we didn't want it to curdle, so I kept it moving, right? Now, what we didn't wanna do is we didn't wanna put this inside of here with that heat, then it would've just almost did it. You know what I mean? So now I'm gonna go ahead and just add this back to my main mixture. Right? Now we just gonna mix this together. So then we just add the rest of our ingredients in, which is just like your salt. You know what I mean? And your vanilla extract, right? Okay, and so then I'm gonna transfer this to a bowl. I could have made this at the end, you know what I mean? That way I wouldn't have to, you know, cover it with saran wrap because we don't want to form no crust or nothing like that on top. But I'm gonna go ahead and cover it. I'm gonna let it cool just a little bit more. So listen, you wanna get yourself a, you know, a 13 by nine, right? I'm gonna be using my Pam. I even have uh, some baking spray that has the flour in it also. But this is all you need, folks. We just don't want nothing to stick to it. As a matter of fact, let me do it over here because I don't want nothing to be all over the floor. But guess what, folks? I'm the one that gotta do the mopping, right? So now, my oven is up to temp, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just add this to it. Now, I'll put that in there. Listen, we're probably gonna go about an hour, right? But we wanna keep our eyes on it, so I'm gonna set a timer at about for about 45 minutes. I wanna look at it, because if it's nice and golden brown, I'm gonna check it, make sure that the egg mixture and everything was uh, cooked, and then I'll take it out. But right now, I'm gonna tell you from experience, in this oven right here, it usually goes about an hour. Okay, folks, so look, I hit it with the toothpick. We did all of that. Nothing came up on a toothpick. I check it in like several uh, locations. And like, if you got something that's a little bit higher, you just want to make it, you know, check. Make sure you don't have, you know, your toothpick comes out clean. I'm gonna go ahead and just put that right there. And that right there, my friend, is nice. Now, if I would have made it in a smaller one, or if I would have added more, you know, bread into it, you know what I mean? Uh, then it would have been a lot more, you know, taller. But this right here is good. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I want you guys to remember. You remember this right here? Look at that right there. Ooh, wee. 
Just that money, folks. Now, I'm gonna take this, clean this off right here. We're gonna put this right here and I'm gonna just drizzle a little bit of this, you know, over here like that. Okay, folks, look, I'm already chewing. Listen, if you look down there, we didn't cut a couple of pieces out of there. We had another big piece right here, but we all been sampling it, right? But if you really wanna know, I got my grandson right here. His name is Aiden. Listen, he been dying to get in one of these videos with me, so here he is, right? So, hey, you good with bread pudding? Yes. Okay. Let me go ahead and uh, you all right, man? You said that kind of, kind of strong, man. So look, you 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 old enough to do it yourself. Go ahead and get that. Put that in your mouth, and you tell me. <laughs> hey, is it good, man? Yes. Okay. Hey, so listen, I know it's good. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it too. Look, this is my family. I don't want to hear nobody talking about. Hey, we sharing a fork. Yes, sir. Cheers, y'all. Hey, did you wipe your mouth, man? Not yet. Uh, not yet? Hold up. Let me fold you up and let you get down like, like G-Pop do. Hold it like that. Let me see you get, get a wipe. Hey, I just found out something, folks. I know how to calm him down. I need to keep my camera around. Hey, listen, he's like super cool right now. Hey, but with that being said, I want you guys to talk to us down in the comment section below and let us know what you think about this right here. Really, really good. Hey, listen, you know he's going to keep it genuine. I can't make him say nothing that, you know, like if it ain't good, he's going to tell you. I promise you, folks. Now, with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, don't forget, I want you guys to hit that like, smash that subscribe button to tell everybody out there. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. Go on and get you one more bite, man. Look, I, man, you was already saying okay before I even got done. And hey, check it out, folks. Me and my little G-boy right here, we gone. We out. Peace.